Google is the top search engine used by fans and audiences when searching for their favorite artists, bands or musicians. So when it comes to getting online visibility for you and your music, appearing high in Google search results is the best way to do it. Google decides what and more importantly who it wants to show on its search results. And it makes these decisions based entirely on information it's gathered from crawling the web. So that's any information it collects from pages, websites, online platforms and other sources. Lots of this comes down to what is known as search engine optimization, which is SEO for short. This is it's all about how you can optimize information that Google gathers on you from online sources. And this is to boost your chances of getting picked up and shown in on online search results anytime that Google crawls the web. Google knowledge panels are one of the ways that Google itemizes or displays all of this information in a brief snapshot version, which is only visible on the first page of a Google search which guarantees you to be seen. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the different SEO techniques that you can utilize. And this is so you can get shown up high on Google search results, but also get your own Google Knowledge Panel. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to Ditto Music's YouTube channel. Like, hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. Leave any comments or questions down below and we'll be sure to get back to as many as we can. There'll be markers, timestamps and chapters down below also. So if you want to look around the video and skip to a certain chapter, you can do that. All right then, so let's go. What is a Google Knowledge Panel? Let's break it down. When you've previously searched for your favorite bands or artists on Google, you may have noticed that many of them have a dedicated panel to their music on the right side of the results page. And this is known as a Google Knowledge Panel. Google Knowledge Panels are filled with all the essential informations that you would want your fans to see, including images, artist bio, upcoming tour dates, any links to your music, releases, social media profiles, and so much more. These panels are a great way to help new audiences and listeners get to know you at a slight glance. So if you take a quick look at singer-songwriter Tash Sultanas, you'll see it displays a short snapshot version of who she is as an artist, with links to her official site, places where you can stream her music, a short bio, and information on what kind of artist genre she falls under. There's upcoming events, recent releases, and links to her social media and her music. In terms of the benefits to you as a musician, having a Google Knowledge Panel will not only increase your organic discovery, but it will also help improve your brand reputation and your perception. So now we know what a Google Knowledge Panel is and why it's great. But now let's get onto the purpose of this video, how to actually get one. So how to get a Google Knowledge Panel. Let me start by saying getting a Google Knowledge Panel necessarily isn't something you can just do by yourself. Like I mentioned before, Google has the authority, which means it'll choose what, how, and who it wants to display as high search quality content. But there's definitely things that you can do to kind of give Google the push and help Google along. And this is all in favor of increasing your chances and getting your own Knowledge Panel. Set up your Google accounts. The first and probably most obvious way to let Google know who you are is to literally tell Google who you are. And you can do this directly by utilizing a Google account. There's four different ways that you can get your own Google account and be on Google's radar. The first way, log in and create a Google account. Before you can do anything else, you'll need to create a Google account or at least log into an old or an existing one. And this is the account that you'll use to do all the other bits and make sure you're able to log in and out and have access to that account. Ensure you're able to stay logged in for the rest of these steps. Another way, is to create and update a Google brand account. If you don't already know, a Google brand account is an account that is completely reserved for brands. And this will be completely separate from your personal account. By setting up one of these accounts, you're essentially letting Google know directly that you exist as an artist or a brand. As soon as you set up, edit, and add all the important and essential information that you can about you and your brand, including links to your music, your official website, your socials, and anything else you can think of that is essential to you and your brand. Once you've provided all of that, make sure you regularly update it and provide any edits or changes to your account. Google considers the quality, the quantity, and the legitimacy of the information on your Google brand account. And it'll take all this information when it's deciding whether or not to create a Google knowledge panel about you. So make sure it's always up to date and make sure that your account is set to public so that Google can easily see it and crawl it. Another way is to get your music on YouTube Music. And whether it's your aim to get a Google Knowledge Panel or not, having your music uploaded and on YouTube Music 
is a great idea. There's actually no evidence to say that getting your music on YouTube music necessarily will get you great or immediate access to having a Google knowledge panel. But as YouTube music is Google's official music streaming platform, it couldn't really hurt. And in most cases, it's more likely to boost your chances. However, getting your music on there is literally just one part. The next thing that you'd wanna do is to make sure that you've tied your Google brand account to your YouTube channel. Just make sure that all the information on your YouTube channel is tied and linked to your Google brand account and not your personal account. That will definitely help with creating that important connection between your music and your brand. And this is another really important step, which is actually recommended by Google themselves. And it's to connect your official website to your brand account, utilizing Google's Search Console tool. Doing this will verify that you own your own website and will make an official connection between your official site and your brand account. And that's something that Google can recognize. This will come handy down the line when you've been verified as a genuine representative of your brand. And then that way you can suggest changes to your knowledge panel directly through Google. So moving on, it's great to also push a wiki page. So after you're all finished up with your Google account set up, think about publishing a page about your own self on Wikipedia. And this is another way to show off yourself to Google as a reputable artist or a band. And not only that, but Google actually utilizes a lot of content from Wikipedia to source information for bios for the knowledge panel. Getting one of these is a really big step to securing your own. And with all that said, however, getting a Wikipedia for music isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. The site has strict rules around the idea of creating new pages. And to pass your page, Wikipedia actually needs to define you, the person creating it as neutral. And this just means being backed by factual resources rather than any promotional resources. It also needs to be verifiable, which basically means it needs to be backed by a reliable third party source, like a media publication or a blog, rather than the website of the artist or the band. But most importantly, it states that your music has to be of notable quality. For Wikipedia's sake, this can actually be proved in many different ways, such as multiple articles covering your music or a tour, or having singles or albums in the official charts, a prominent within a certain genre or music subculture or previous award nominations or wins. So while it can be hard to get a Wikipedia page, there's still a wide scope of things that you can offer to meet the verifiability requirements. Another thing you can do is push a Music Brains entry. Music Brains with a Z is another online source that Google utilizes to find out more information about artists, musicians, and bands. And it's very similar to Wikipedia, but the main difference is it's solely focused on music, artists, bands, musicians. It's basically like an open music encyclopedia or a directory online that anyone has access to. So it's available to the online public. And before you submit an entry on to Music Brains, you wanna also check the site and make sure that what you're submitting isn't already there. So if you're not, then you can start adding all your information onto the online database. Include your website and any information around your music, your songs, your albums, any releases. Getting accepted on Music Brains isn't difficult, but you still have to meet the requirements. So just remember to make sure you read all of the entry guidelines and conditions before you submit any entries. One really important step is optimizing your images. Similarly to the knowledge panel that we looked at in the beginning, you'll see that Google will display an image or a collection or a collage of images for the artist or band that you search for, and this will be within the knowledge panel. To be completely honest, the way Google goes about choosing these images isn't public knowledge. But to be honest, there's still a few techniques that you can utilize to optimize the images that you upload online on your website. So Google recognizes those pictures, those images. The main way of doing this is altering an image's alt text. And if you don't already know, the image alt text is essentially the name given to an image file. So if your band's name was Cool Band, before you upload this image, it would be best to give that image an official title, an official name. Something as simple as Cool Band's Press Shot and in this format too. The best format will always be utilizing the text and between the text, adding dashes, followed by the type extension. So in this case, a JPEG, a JPG file. Then when you come to uploading that image to your website, set the text for the image as Cool Band Press Shot. And this can be done on most CMS systems through the text fill section. Then the text name is essentially the same as before, 
but just without the format. And then I would also recommend if you are in any write-up interviews online, blogs, or any kind of publication, that the images used are formatted in the same way. And when these writers, these journalists, write up and put your images within their documents, that they title it in the right way. And if they can't do that, then make sure the images that you have provided to them are already optimized, already have the alt text written in a way that you would want them that link to your artist name or your band name. Last but definitely not least, optimizing your socials and your streaming profiles. Sharing your music across loads of music and social media platforms is probably one of the best and easiest ways to get noticed by Google. Think of it as scattering your brand across loads of different touch points. With all these touch points, you need to create a sense of consistency. Essentially, do a bit of dot to dot work for Google essentially to just make the connection easier. I mean, the best way to create continuity across your socials, your streaming platforms, your websites, and anywhere else your music might be, is to ensure that these images that you've uploaded are consistent, have the same alt names, and also include your name regardless of the formatting or situation. So within those platforms on streaming or social, website, or wherever it might be, Having a consistent, slightly similar, maybe identical statement like a short bio that includes your name and where your band or artists are from. Something like, Cool Band are a five-piece indie rock group from Southampton, UK. And maybe the rest changes, but that's always consistent, that first part. Google will essentially scan this text and make a consistent connection between the different places it finds this text. Therefore, will show your image in Google Images as priority. Okay then, so a quick recap. I'm understanding that it was a lot of information to take in, but that's why you got YouTube. You can pause, rewind, start again, watch again, whatever you wanna do. Here's the main things you can do to improve your chances of getting recognized by Google and to get your own Google Knowledge Panel. Set up your Google account, including your brand account. Upload your music to YouTube Music. Register your website via Google Console. Publish a Wikipedia page about you or your band. Publish an entry or multiple entries on Music Brains with a Z. Optimize any and all images that you upload online. Optimize the bio text of your socials and your streaming profiles. I mentioned before, there is actually no real guarantee that all of these will work necessarily, but these are the ways that you can make it happen. Ultimately, it's up to Google who they give a knowledge panel to, but these are definitely ways that you can push for that suggestion, for them to see you, for you to be noticed by Google. And doing all of this will definitely give you a better chance, but also help heighten your music visibility online. Allow yourself to look more professional and more authentic when people are searching for you and your music online. So from me, Vital, and the rest of the Ditto team, I wanna say thank you guys for locking in, listening and watching and getting to the end. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Make sure you get down in the comments Drop a comment, a question. We'll be there trying to get back to as much as we can. And we appreciate you every time. Catch you guys in the next one. More love, vital.